It's common in WWE for a wrestler to be pushed who simply isn't ready. A specific wrestler will be given the push of a lifetime, but the reality is that they have yet to develop the skills they need to be a top star in the company. Usually WWE eventually gives up on this chosen individual, but sometimes their stubbornness means that they will outright refuse to cancel the push, and the wrestler will remain a lower card talent for the rest of their days in the company. Join us now as WrestleMania looks at 10 WWE wrestlers who were pushed beyond their merit. Be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell for daily wrestling videos and follow us on Facebook for exclusive lists. Also check out our new channel, WrestleMania Shorts. Number 10, Luther Reigns. One of the more forgotten about stars of the Ruthless Aggression era was Luther Reigns. Reigns was given a substantial push upon joining the main roster as he would join forces with Kurt Angle which instantly gave him a road to success. The issue was that Reigns was just so dull that fans didn't care about him. The Ruthless Aggression era was a time where fans wanted exciting hard hitting matches and slow and plodding big men such as Reigns weren't going to get over. Reigns would be given absolute icons to work with such as Eddie Guerrero and The Undertaker, but even working with these legends failed to make fans see Reigns as a top guy. Reigns would eventually be released and WWE no doubt regret putting in so much time and effort into trying making Reigns a main event player in the company. Number 9. The Big Show in 1999 Long before the Big Show was certified as one of the greatest big men in WWE history, he was given a huge push early on in his WWE career, but it completely fell flat. Big Show would win the title at the 1999 Survivor Series, but this wasn't a role that Big Show was ready for. He had failed to put it all together in the ring and his promo and character work was lackluster at best. This was during a time where wrestlers such as The Rock, Triple H and Mankind were all super over, and WWE's decision to go with the Big Show simply didn't work. Thankfully, in later years, Big Show would truly come into his own in WWE and his later world title reigns were considerably better. Number 8. Ezekiel Jackson It was clear based on Ezekiel Jackson's presentation that WWE saw dollar signs when it came to his character. Jackson had an imposing physique, but when the bell rang, he failed to deliver in virtually all of his matches. Jackson would be given extensive and excessive pushes during his tenure in the company and would even defeat Christian to become the last ever ECW champion. This push continued into 2011 when Jackson became Intercontinental Champion, but his title reign was a total dud and WWE eventually decided to go in a different direction with one of the more prestigious titles. They were adamant on making Jackson a star and it took them a long time to realize that he wasn't as good as they initially thought and by 2014 he was released from the company. Number 7. Shane McMahon Shane McMahon had always been presented as the untrained wrestler who was solid at brawling, but in 2019, they went too far with their presentation of the prodigal son. McMahon would turn heel by attacking The Miz and his heel run was given a ton of TV time and it made fans loathe the WWE product. McMahon was legitimately presented as the biggest star in the company and he would attain wins over the likes of The Miz and even defeat Roman Reigns on pay-per-view. This push went on for months on end and it was during a time when Kofi Kingston was WWE Champion but Kingston was pushed aside in favour of this truly awful push. Number 6. Jinder Mahal WWE made a bold and drastic decision in 2017. Jinder Mahal would go from jobber to WWE Champion. There were business reasons for Mahal's push but the problem was that Mahal was not at the level of other top stars. Mahal was average in the ring and he had a lack of presence as a top star. Mahal had spent years as a jobber and he lacked conviction as a WWE Champion. He'd wrestle the likes of Randy Orton and Shinsuke Nakamura on pay-per-view and these matches were passable at best. And it was clear that WWE had pushed a talent who wasn't cut out for the main event scene. Number 5. Ryback now, There's no denying in 2012, Ryback was one of the most popular talents in WWE. Ryback's Goldberg-esque presentation had worked and Ryback's catchphrase of Feed Me More was immensely popular with the PG audience. When Ryback was pushed into the main event scene, it became obvious relatively quickly that he wasn't ready for the big time. Ryback was terrible at delivering promos and his match quality wasn't at the level of other top stars such as CM Punk, John Cena and Daniel Bryan. The aura surrounding Ryback quickly disappeared as Ryback lacked the tools needed to remain a main eventer, but they didn't give up as they eventually turned him heel in 2013. This heel turn would evolve a top feud with John Cena, but this feud was incredibly dull and Ryback came across as more of a comedic character than a menacing viable threat. Once the feud with Cena was over, Ryback would fall dramatically down the card and he would never be considered for a world title feud ever again. Number 4. Mabel 
The WWE product in 1995 was struggling to find an audience. The cartoonish style of programming WWE were delivering wasn't connecting with the fans and, and some of the wrestlers who Vince McMahon was adamant on pushing were failing to get over. One of these wrestlers was a near 500 pound Mabel who McMahon believed could be potentially the next top guy in the company. Mabel was below average in the ring and there was no demand to see him in a substantial role. So when Mabel won the 1995 King of the Ring, fans were less than excited. Mabel in the biggest match of his career would take on Diesel at the SummerSlam pay-per-view and this match just so happened to be for the WWE title. The match was incredibly poor and arguably one of the worst matches in SummerSlam history. Mabel even hurt Diesel in the match and this almost led to McMahon firing him with immediate effect. The SummerSlam match would mark the end of Mabel's push in WWE but slowly but surely McMahon would realize that he needed to change his strategy when it came to talent he pushed in the main event scene. Number 3. Ronda Rousey When WWE signed Ronda Rousey in 2018, there was a ton of buzz. Rousey was one of the biggest names in UFC history and she'd always spoken positively about WWE, so there was an exciting opportunity for WWE to add a huge star into their growing women's division. Rousey's first run in the company was acclaimed by many as her matches were mostly well received and Rousey would have great matches with Nia Jax which nobody saw coming. Nevertheless, when she returned in 2022, everything felt different. The Rousey of old had gone and Rousey was now a clumsy, borderline reckless wrestler and it was obvious that her heart wasn't in it. She would have poor matches with the likes of Charlotte Flair and Liv Morgan but even though Rousey's work had dramatically regressed, WWE continued to push, unfortunately to the detriment of other women in the division. It's unclear what happened but Rousey's second run in the WWE has failed in every aspect and ultimately they should have taken action and realized that just because Rousey is a huge star, it doesn't mean she should be performing at an elite level. Number 2. Vladimir Kozlov WWE were insistent on making Vladimir Kozlov the next top heel in WWE. Kozlov in 2008 would embark on a win streak, but what was damaging about this presentation was that the fans failed to react as if he was a top star. He had a lack of presence in the ring and his in-ring work wasn't as the standard fans wanted. He would be involved in pay-per-view matches with the likes of Triple H and even someone as talented as the game was unable to get a good match out of him. In 2009, WWE even had Kozlov defeat The Undertaker on SmackDown and there were even rumors that he was going to face him at WrestleMania 25. Thankfully, after a few months, WWE realized that Kozlov wasn't a top star and they had pushed him way beyond his merit. And number one, The Great Khali. Debuting in 2006, The Great Khali was instantly presented as a menacing figure in WWE. Khali would defeat The Undertaker on pay per view and it was made clear to fans that Khali was someone they needed to take seriously. Outside of Khali's hype, there was nothing remotely special about him. He could barely move in the ring and this made having good matches with anyone was virtually impossible. The following year in 2007, WWE made the controversial decision to make him the new world champion. This was a decision that was heavily criticized as the crowd responses to Khali didn't warrant a world title victory. His run as world champion wasn't exactly great and his matches with the likes of Batista and Kane were borderline failures. It took WWE years to realize that Kali wasn't going to work as a top star and he would eventually be relegated to a comedic role in the company. But they have it folks, 10 WWE wrestlers who were pushed beyond their merit. Be sure to leave your comments down below. I'll see you next time with some more wrestling content.